These sub-zero temperatures, it's hard to imagine what it would be like going without a working furnace for nearly a month. Last week, two Cleveland families turned to five on your side after their landlord failed to restore the heat to their duplex. Troubleshooter Joe Paganakis is on the case, and News Channel 5 viewers really responded in a big way, Joe, offering some free repairs. That's right, an Akron contractor who didn't want to be on camera stepped in to help after seeing our story. We also got expert on your side advice on furnace checks and picking the right heating contractor. I have your money, but you're not getting it. Strong words on New Year's Day from Shazan Woodruff issued to her absentee landlord. Both furnaces at her Cleveland duplex have been out for nearly a month. Woodruff and a family living upstairs forced to boil pots of water on an electric stove just to keep their children warm. Nobody helping us at all. And on your side investigation seen by heating contractor Charles Miles and his wife Kim. Miles responded to our story venturing out into sub-zero temperatures last night and repaired both furnaces free of charge. I love I love them. I don't even know these people, but I love them because God sent them to me. God sent them to us because we was in dire need of help. If you're concerned about your furnace, the technicians at Sal's Heating and Cooling in North Royalton say making sure your furnace filter is clean is a good place to start. You want to have that igniter checked, make sure that's working properly for you. And they also have a flame sensor in here, make sure that is cleaned. Typical place for gas leaks would be at your union and your gas valve. Have those checked, make sure you have no gas leaks there. You also have some venting out here that goes to the outside. You want to go to the outside and make sure you don't have any ice buildup on the outside that would block any of these intakes. Picking a heating contractor who is state certified is one factor in making the right choice. Reputation, okay, years in business, uh, read reviews, um, recommendations, Angie's List, Better Business Bureau, uh, you know, go to Google Reviews is another good source, Yelp is another good source. And our On Your Side investigation into that landlord continues. Turns out this duplex has changed owners seven times in just the past year. We've contacted Cleveland Housing Court in this case, and it's conducting its own investigation into the landlord who could face charges if he doesn't make the needed repairs. We'll follow up on this case. On Your Side, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.